Hey everyone, welcome back to BMW Fanatic. In this video, I'm gonna show you just how to charge your BMW using the SeaTech 4.3. Now I have used this battery charger quite a bit already. I've already fully charged my battery. I've done the JB4 back in flash via MHD and I've already done so much other stuff as far as testing it out. Now when I wanted to get a battery charger just because as you may know, BMWs use a lot of power. This is why it's recommended if you're wanting to store your BMW, anything like that, hook it up to a battery trickle charger. When I sat there and thought, you know what? I wonder if FCP Euro carries this. So I went out there and looked and guess what? I found that they do carry this battery charger. This is where I bought it from. Now the cool thing is, is that FCP Euro still will offer a lifetime guarantee replacement even on this. Now I'm gonna post a link in the description below as far as the exact same trickle charger, but uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump over to the engine bay area and I'm gonna show you just how to use this battery charger. First what you're gonna do is go ahead and pop the hood here. Upon popping the hood, you're gonna locate your positive terminal right here, which is the red cap, and then your negative is gonna be right here on the side. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and unclip your little cover. When you get the SeatTech charger, it's gonna have a connector here where you need to plug it in. So all you have to do, take your connector here and just connect it as such. Once you clip it in, you'll feel it click. And then what you're gonna do before plugging it in is go ahead and attach it to the terminals as such. So you got your positive here and then your negative. Clicked on like that, negative right there, connector piece already good to go, and then your C-Tech ready to be plugged in. You're gonna take your C-Tech plug and then just plug it into your extension. Now right away, you will see right here that if this is lit up, that means you have a bad connector problem, which could be uh, from the clips itself. So since this is not illuminated, we're good to go. Uh, the different modes here, right, you have for your uh, motorcycle, your car, a full charge, your snowflake, of course, during the winter time, and then your recondition. If your battery is just way beyond, you're gonna need to have it reconditioned. All these stages is gonna mean everything that's going on with your battery currently right now. So as you get going, get green at a full charge when it's on number seven here. It'll light up nice and green, and all these other ones are gonna be amber. Toggle through the modes just doing as such. But really, this is it. This is, makes it so simple to charge your BMW, whether you're doing all kinds of different things. So you can just leave it just like that, with the hood open, as you see or you can fish it through the top area, snaking it through up here, and then letting it sit. You're gonna have some room to be able to do it, but then again, uh, it's gonna be quite a tight fit. Now, if you do not have the cow on, then all this is open and it will fish right up through there. But if you're charging in a garage or anything like that, you most likely are gonna have the hood open, and then therefore, you can just leave it as just like that. Other cool stuff as far as, you know, you get your owner's manual right here. Tells you everything, just like what I described. So you have your many different ones uh, as far as soft start, bulk, absorption, uh, analyze, recondition, float, and pulse. So you got that right there. Goes into all the different menus, of course, uh, what you can do, and little troubleshooting things. Makes it nice uh, when you're doing the things that you need to do and taking it somewhere. You, of course, get your C-Tech bag. Nice material. Definitely won't rip. And this is just a reminder as far as to make sure that you have it, right? You have your one and two, which is on your connector, and you got your plug, all that kind of stuff. Just make sure you have everything in your bag and you're good to go. 4.3 box is that you get the connector piece if you want to put it on your battery itself. So here is where you can take the terminal off like let's say you're charging a physical battery and then that way you can tighten it down. You don't have to worry about just the clip slipping off or whatever be the case. This is a nice little option that they include in the box. Just like that, that's all you have to do. Charge your BMW battery. And when you are fully charged, all you have to do is go ahead and unplug it from here. Kill the power that's on that since you're gonna be touching it up here. And go ahead and take it off one by one from up here, just like that. 
Set those aside. Then all I do is get your bag. Don't forget your clips because you're going to need those if you ever are stranded anywhere and you need a charge. There you go. Throw it in your car and that's it. This is the easiest way to charge a BMW using the SeaTech 4.3. Alright everyone, there you have it. The simple and easy way to charge your BMW using the SeaTech 4.3. So this battery charger can be used if you're flashing your DME via MHD or doing the JB4 backend flash, right? Any kind of coating, any kind of things like that. Uh, whether you're storing it during the winter time, so of course you got the modes for that, and then whether you're doing a full battery charge that could take eight to 10 hours, never know. This thing right here is gonna work perfect for just that, and I'm happy that I bought it when I did. Well guys, please be sure to subscribe, like and comment. Have a great one, and I'll see you soon. Take care.